So, just got into work, and I noticed something on top of my bookshelf. One of these things is not like the other. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't think a bottle of bleach is really going to help my video editing at all. Just not. So, how can you tell when your local Tim Hortons loves you a lot? They write your name on things. Mwah. So, for the first time in forever, I have a library card. This is my first library card that I've had in about 20 years. The last time I actually remember using my library card, I think I was 12. Anyways, homeward bound. <laughs> Okay, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done yet. This is just the beginning. I've still got this wall that I want to do and what have you. So what I ended up having to do is a combination of spray adhesive and everybody's favorite command strips. Because I've used like low tech spray adhesive, I should be able to rearrange these just fine. I might need to add a little more, but it just stays tacky. So I can take these off without damaging them. Um, after they've been on a while, the most I will need is like a plastic putty knife and some gooby gone. But this should not like dry solid to the wall. So I can always change my mind. But yeah, I had fun. Except for the part where the tiles kept falling off. So. Now I have a background against which I can do videos. And while this one's on my iPhone, we can always switch over to the DSLR. So here we are, same beautiful wall, same lighting. Uh, the only difference is the camera and the audio. And this pretty much works. I've got my own little space I can work around in. A lovely backdrop behind me. I'm gonna need to touch up this lighting a little bit. Because right now I've got a single fixture right there with no diffusion whatsoever. One moment. Sweet. Now I've got one light with diffusion on, on it. Um, all I did was take my one of my paper lanterns and just hung it kind of on there. It works. So far this setup works pretty good for me. Uh, I have some range to move. I can be all the way back here and have, you know, have to tilt the camera lower and get more lighting on me. But see, with a little work, this turns into a pretty nice spot too. But yeah, I still got some things to figure out about this space and this setup. The other nice thing is this should already start sounding better, which it kind of does. Which is cool, because I like that. But I still have to treat this wall a little bit. Um, currently the rest of the foam is up behind the camera. But yeah, this is how I transformed my space into a nice little recording space where I can talk to you about anything I please. With little to no setup time. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap. Boom, pew, boom, pew, boom, pew, boom.
I hate to break it to you, but this studio is a class act. I mean, we're talking real production value. I mean, just look at how they handle the audio in this place. My producer hooks me up. I mean, for real, you should try hire this guy sometime. His name, Deathy. Deathy Deathwing. Oh, yeah. He is the man. He's the man. Hire this guy sometime. Get him on your project. You will not be disappointed. All right. Where's craft services? I'm hungry. Who's got the bagels? Bagels? Can we get a bagel on set? <laughs>